Hey, how's it going? I'm Spiderburger. Welcome to Character Design Cubby, the series where I take random things and turn them into characters. Yeah, that's it. This time, I am doing dog breeds because I thought that would be cute. And even though I'm more of a cat person, dogs are adorable and I love them. First up, I've got the Golden Retriever. I've only picked about five breeds today because five is the maximum amount of drawings I can do before everything just gets way too long and overheated. But the Golden Retriever was a good start. It's a well-known breed, pretty common among households, and very cute. Very, very, very cute. I wanted to give the Golden Retriever character a very happy-go-lucky kind of vibe. So I made it look like she's posed and ready to run at something, or she's just excited to see what's in front of her. As for the design, the way I went about making her look like a golden retriever and not just a random person was mainly in the colour scheme, there's a lot of yellows and browns, but also with her pigtails and fringe, or bangs I think they're called in America. The fringe is a bit less obvious, but I tried to make it shaped similar to how a golden retriever's ears look, because they're a bit of like a squarish rectangle shape with a bit of a point to them at the end. It didn't really come across very clearly, but that's what I was going for. And the pigtails that I gave her, I kind of meant to look like the way the tail looks, because golden retrievers are very fluffy, and they've got very fluffy tails, and I think that came across a bit more clearly. I don't really have much else to say about the Golden Retriever. She was a pretty easy character to design. The thing about the Golden Retriever is they're just like golden. <laughs> That's like their main feature. They're fluffy and they're a golden yellow color and they're friendly and that's about it. So character design is pretty basic for this one. I actually wanted to give her a design on her shirt where it would be a stripe with a circle underneath it that would kind of like symbolize a collar in a way to give more emphasis on a these are dog breeds type of thing. But I dropped the idea because it just made everything look a bit too cluttered and some of the character designs that I have coming up, it just wouldn't have worked with them. <laughs> there was nothing I could have done. So I figured instead of making that some sort of theme, I just wouldn't do it at all. I decided to give the Golden Retriever a very basic outfit. She's just wearing a t-shirt, some basic leggings, and some Ugg boots. I don't know why I went with Ugg boots, it just felt right when I was designing her, but I think all in all, she looks really cute. I'm really happy with this design. If I were to point this character out to someone, covering up the label and say, hey, I designed this based on a dog breed, can you guess which one? they'd probably guess some sort of Labrador or a Golden Retriever, so I think it's actually really, really close, and it's a pretty good design. So I'm happy with this one. Let me know if you would have done it any differently, though. I'd love to hear some feedback. The second breed that I'm designing today is the Dalmatian. And I knew the moment I picked the Dalmatian to design that I wanted the character to have vitiligo. I think I'm pronouncing that correct, vitiligo. It just made the most sense because the Dalmatian is known for its spots. And I figured it would be fun to kind of reverse it a bit and have a character with darker skin and lighter spots because of vitiligo. I just thought it would be cute. Dalmatians to me come across as equally as friendly as Golden Retrievers, but a bit more calm. Not that Golden Retrievers are crazy in any sense, but when they're characterized, they always come across as like very jumpy and excited. And Dalmatians can be, I imagine, but they're often not characterized that way. I also remembered how Dalmatians were or still are being used by firefighters to assist them and Dalmatians, because of that, just radiate calm and focused vibes. So I kind of wanted to give more of that than the excited vibe of a Golden Retriever. I posed her as if she was about to read a book or had just finished reading a book, 
when someone had called her name or she heard a noise that she should turn to. I'm not really sure why, I think I just wanted to practice the pose where the arm kind of overlaps with the body a bit and people kind of tend to lift their arms up a bit if they hear someone calling to them, like they're getting ready to move. She's also turning so it implies a bit of motion. I also added, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the footage just yet, um, a bit of a 101 Dalmatians joke on the book. Uh, looking at the final image now, I wrote how to do something 101 because I didn't just want to immediately write 101 Dalmatians on the book that felt too obvious, but I wanted a 101 joke. And I'm also now realizing that I've put the book backwards, but it, it's fine. It can be a manga, it's fine. The end result is one that I'm happy with, but also a bit conflicted about because I used a lot of darker colors where I probably shouldn't have and it kind of like washes out the whole color palette of the character. Like her pants are a bit of a darker shade of like a gray, almost blackish gray. And because of that, a lot of her design being darker colors just generally gets kind of like clouded and hard to see. I'm still happy with the design, I'd just probably change the colour of the pants to be something lighter. That's about it. This is the problem that I had with the coffee characters, but I caught it ahead of time with them and planned ahead. But this one I didn't plan any colour palettes ahead, so it kind of snuck up on me, but... I am still happy with this design. I think she's still really cute. I think I did a pretty good pose. It's not especially dynamic, but it's a good pose. And I really like her hairstyle as well. My goal for this was to also make it look kind of like the ears, like the braids that kind of go around her neck were meant to be more like the shape of a Dalmatian's ears, but I don't think that came across super clearly. This one isn't really one of the clear designs, but that's okay, I still think she's cute. I still like her. Here's Dalmatian. And breed number three is Pomeranian. I'm not entirely familiar with Pomeranian behaviours, but the first thing I picture when I think of any small dog breed is yappy. Small dog breeds aren't inherently like aggressive or angry. People often characterise chihuahuas as that way when they're just not. If a chihuahua is like that, they're stressed. But I just thought, Pomeranian hearing someone knock at the door and start barking like mad even though it's functionally like really small and it's just really cute yapping noises. That's the kind of vibe I want to go for. I gave the Pomeranian girl a very short stature. I imagine this is like a child, maybe prepubescent, because Pomeranians are small. It just made sense to me. I also put her in a fuzzy jumper because Pomeranians are very fluffy, very, very fluffy. So it just made sense to kind of like imitate that fur look. And I did the same thing with her boots. I gave them like a fluffy outer bit around her ankles or <laughs> whatever those are. They're not her ankles, I don't think. The main gist of the Pomeranian character was to make her look angry, but harmless. That was the entire vibe I wanted to go with. And everything else was kind of just little details. I gave her a mostly brown colour palette, I'm not sure if you can see that here. I think Pomeranians do come in a lot more colours than that, but the first thing that came to mind was brown, so I just used a bunch of various brown shades. Another thing I did that I think is like kind of cute is if you look at her hair, I added little areas that kind of puff up an extra bit to try and like imitate the look at the ears, because Pomeranians have like those little triangle ears that stick up a bit. So I wanted to try and imitate them, but I couldn't think of like how with the way I designed the hair already. So I just made the hair poof up in those areas. I don't know, it just, it just made sense to me. Pomeranian overall is really cute. I think the only problem I have with this design is really just that the line weight of the pen looks a bit off around the face. I probably could have done some more line weight adjusting, but that's more an issue with this piece, it's not an issue with the design. The design I think is adorable, and I love it. 
for the most part, Pomeranian. You might not guess that this character is based off of it. If I told you it was a dog breed and that you had to guess, you probably could guess any fluffy dog breed. But, you know, for the most part, it radiates Pomeranian vibes when you know it's a Pomeranian. So, yeah. Pretty good design. I'm happy with her. She's cute. Angry looking, yes, but still cute. Design number four is based on a poodle, and not the toy poodles, but you know, the bigger sized one. I'm not really sure what their breed is specifically called, but you know, a poodle. My idea for this one was to kind of make her that stereotypical poodle, because poodles are stereotyped as kind of like snobbish and rich people pets. I don't think that's always the case. I Genuinely, I'm pretty sure most poodle owners aren't like <laughs> snobby rich people But that's the stereotype and I thought it would be kind of like funny if I just did like a kind of Snobby looking poodle for the most part. She doesn't look entirely snobby But she could come across as it because she's dressed kind of fancy looking and she's got an I don't really care face She could come across as other things, but my goal was snobby at the very least I used a lot of greys and browns in her colour palette because poodles can come in a variety of greys and browns. And I was going to use some white as well because I'm pretty sure they can also come in white, but I decided against it. I thought it would kind of make the design a bit off. The outfit that I designed for Poodle in the rough version of it, which is up on my Patreon if you want to have a look, that is kind of different from what I've got here because there I gave her like completely different pants and I think a completely different shirt as well and I don't think I had anything planned for the shoes or if I did it was just high heels like nothing about the poodle's design besides her like general proportions and hairstyle and face is the same as what I designed in the rough version all of this I just made up on the spot as I was drawing it in the footage but I'm really glad I changed it. The rough version of it pales in comparison to the outfit I gave her here. This is so much better. As you can probably guess, the thing with the pigtails is that they are designed to look like the ears. I imagine poodles with like very curly hair because a lot of them do have very curly hair. So that's what I gave her. And usually when poodles get groomed, the ears get left alone. So they end up kind of resembling pigtails on a person. So I figured, you know what, let's imitate that. Let's give the poodle girl pigtails with big curly hair. And it looks cute. <laughs> I like it. I'm not sure why, but the poodle is actually like one of my favorite ones. Like more so than the other designs that I've done. And I think it might just be because the outfit turned out really well. I'm not sure. Something about it just radiates good vibes to me, so she's one of my favorites. I think she and the next design are kind of tied in the favorite zone, so I'm not going to say she's the favorite, but she's one of them. If I ever do another character design cubby with dog breeds, which there's an abundance of dog breeds, so I could, I might do a toy poodle next time just to see if anything changes, because for the most part I'm pretty sure they're the same breed, they're just slightly different in specific areas, but they're mostly the same. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do another one of these and I'll give it a shot. For now though, here's the final poodle design. The last and final design for this video is the Siberian Husky. In my head, I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go with this one, like I had an idea for a colour palette because huskies are very like set in stone with their fur colours, but I wasn't sure about her design in general. So I thought to myself, maybe I should look up Siberia and see what comes up, and I did. One of the things that popped up was an image of Siberian people wearing very fluffy, 
fur covered coats, I want to say. Coats is probably the right word. That looked like they were made of mostly animal pelts. And that was really cool and I wanted to try and implement that. But I decided while recording to not fully go with that because a pelt covered coat or pelt made coat would have a lot of various different colors in it, which could be crowded. And also, I haven't really done any sort of cultural significance with the other dog breeds, so it felt like it wouldn't really fit in. But I still liked the idea of giving the Siberian Husky a big long coat, so I kind of like paid homage to that idea by giving her a very fluffy coat. If I were to design her again though, I think I would still go with the original idea I had. The coat is a little bit boring, <laughs> not gonna lie. And I don't really like the buttons that I gave it. But for now, as the design is, it's still a pretty nice design. You know, it's not the end of the world that I didn't give her an entirely accurate coat. It's a little bit upsetting to me because it didn't turn out as nice as I liked, but you know what? I can live with it. I made my bed, I'll sleep in it. Otherwise, the Siberian Husky is a really cute design. She's got really warm clothes, the boots you can barely see. She's got a lot of blacks and greys and browns in her color palette. And one of the cutest features that I gave her, which was partially inspired by what I did with the Pomeranian and also by Ibuki Miyoda from Danganronpa, um, was the little hair drill things, uh, drill buns I think they're called. Because huskies, like Pomeranians, have those sort of triangle ears that stick straight up. And I didn't really know how I could like implement that because all of the other breeds I've done so far have like references to the dog's ears in hairstyle. But then I remembered drill buns and I was like, that would be really cute. So I added some of those. They might come across as a bit more cat-like, but I still think they work. I still think they're cute. I like this design a lot. And as you can probably tell, I made her sing because from the amount of videos I've seen online of huskies of any sort, they're loud and they like to sing. So I wanted to implement that with my Siberian Husky design. I thought it would be a cute little feature. That's about it for what I have to say about all of these designs, really. Let me know if you like them or if you don't, and let me know if you want me to do another one of these and what breeds I should do. That's about it from me for today. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Hey, by the way, I have a Patreon if you'd like to consider supporting me. The link will be in the description. If you become a patron of mine, you'll be able to get early access to my videos about a week ahead of time, some extra artwork that you wouldn't get anywhere else, and if you pay a bit higher for some of the extra levels, you can get some work in progress updates, some shout outs in my YouTube videos, or even personalized shout outs where I read a message out that you send to me for everyone to hear. Check it out if you're interested. I also have a Redbubble shop where I sell various designs based on the characters and drawings that I do on my YouTube channel, specifically around the character design copy characters. You can get different types of stickers and posters, even some pillows if you want. It's up to you, but the link is in the description if you'd like to check that out. Thank you.